Hey there, I'm going to show you how to make a food web using Google Slides. So on your assignment, you'll see that you already have uh, your biotic factors of your ecosystem included on the slides. We also have the sun because our goal is to show energy moving throughout the ecosystem in the food web. So we're going to start with the sun for our food web because we know that we get energy from the sun and we know that our producers like kelp and there is one other producer on this list. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. You have to find out. But um, we know that kelp is a producer, right? It's a plant and it makes energy uh, by photosynthesizing using energy from the sun to make sugar that these other animals will use for energy in their food web. So what I need to do is I need to show energy going from the sun to the kelp. I'm going to use my arrow tool here. Do you see the arrow tool? Go ahead and click arrow. And when you have your arrow, if you hold your mouse or your, um, your cursor over a picture, you'll see that you can um, click on this purple dot to anchor your arrow, and then you can click and drag your purple dot to another um, to another box. And so what this does is it connects these two things through the um, the line. And look, now you can see your arrow shows movement of energy. And now, if I need to move my kelp somewhere else, that didn't work. Okay, so let's try again. I want to connect using the arrow tool. I want to connect these two objects. So now we can see there's purple dots on each of these objects. So what I did was I clicked and I dragged my arrow to the other um, box. Now, if I move my boxes around, you'll see that the arrow stays with the boxes. I don't need to make a new arrow because they're connected to each other. So I'll show you another example. Um, so we have our kelp and we know that um, there are some animals on this food web that eat the kelp. Um, and I believe that uh, sea urchins can eat kelp. So let's go ahead and we need to show that sea urchins are primary consumer eating my kelp, which means that the energy goes from the kelp to the sea urchin. So I need to make a new arrow connecting my kelp to my sea urchin. So I'm going to click on the purple dot on the kelp and I'm going to drag it to the sea urchin, to this purple dot. And now my kelp and my sea urchin are connected and you can see the energy is going from the kelp to the sea urchin. Now, if I want to move the sun up to the top corner, I can do that. And then if I want to move my kelp, let's say over here, do you see how the arrows are moving with the um, diagram? I can make my kelp bigger if I want, but the thing is the arrows will stay connected to your boxes after you make the connections if you use the little purple dots in order to connect the arrows. Um, one more thing I'll show you is if you want to make your arrows bigger, um, you can click on this line weight button and look, if you make them eight pixels, that might be too big, maybe four. That's a nice size. So you can change your arrow size so it's more clear to see which way the arrows are going. If you want, you can change the color of your arrows just to make them prettier. You could even change what the arrow head looks like. I wouldn't do that, but these are all options for as you're making your, um, your food web. Okay, so good luck in creating your food web. Hopefully um, we can figure out what all of the different um, connections are and where the energy is moving from in our ecosystem. And please let me know if you have questions.